I'm Susanna Walters, and I am the director of the Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies program, uh, your host for today. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming. It's a great turnout, and it should be a fantastic day. Um, I'm going to make a few opening remarks in a minute, but first I want to introduce you to my dear colleague, Laura Frader, a professor of history and the associate dean of faculty affairs in the College of Social Science and Humanities, and I should say, a great member of the gender studies community here at Northeastern who's going to welcome us all here today. So, Laura. Thank you, Susanna. Well, um, it's a pleasure to be here today. It's a pleasure to see all of you uh, here today. Um, when Carol Vance's um, Pleasure and Danger, which inspired the title um, and some of the ideas behind this conference, it came out in 1984. As many of you know, it emerged from a very controversial event at Barnard University, uh, in, or Barnard College, I should say, in 1982, um, when the conference brought into the open what many have termed the sex wars, the battle between feminists who focused on the problems as they saw them of men's sexual violence and pornography, and the feminists who protested against what they saw as a narrowness of vision and a kind of sexual puritanism. Um, and the, contra the conference was really controversial. I mean, there were pickets outside protesting uh, against some of the themes of the conference and also protesting the fact that many of them felt that they'd been left out of the planning. And it really caused a huge, uh, a huge sort of disturbance uh, uh, and, and many, many conversations uh, among feminists uh, on the left. Um, in her article in that volume, Vance, operating within the sort of binary male-female uh, uh, paradigm and focusing on women as an apparently stable and unitary category, wrote that, quote, to focus only on pleasure and gratification ignores the patriarchal structure in which women act, yet to speak only of sexual violence and oppression ignores women's experience of sexual agency, choice, and unwittingly increases the terror and despair in which women live. Many of the questions that Vance and the, edit the authors of that volume raised are still with us today, even if many of us now question what the category of women really is, and also uh, have abandoned perhaps the term and I'm delighted that, uh, that Susanna and uh, Carla and the Women's Studies, uh, Women's Gender Sexuality Studies Board uh, and others have pulled together this conference today. It's a wonderful occasion to re-examine some of these issues and really engage uh, with some of those questions as they, they present themselves. Uh, in 2015. Um, speaking of pleasure, I want to just um, reiterate my own pleasure and our pleasure in the college at the fact that Women, Gender, and Sexuality Studies has brought science to Northeastern University. <laughs> this conference, as you may gather, is not connected uh, to that fact. And um, basically, I just want to welcome all of you, wish you, on behalf of the College of Social Sciences and Humanities, wish you a wonderful conference, a productive conversation, and um, hopefully a lot of spin-offs, too, from uh, what we do today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I'd like to say that this is hosted by Teen Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes you think that the, the, the whole answer to this should be, you know, pleasure? Yeah. You know, danger? Not so much. Um, would that it were that simple. So th this event is, is sponsored first by the Program in Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies, the Forum on Feminist Thought, and the Feminist Theory 2.0 Research Cluster here at Northeastern. And let me also thank our co-sponsors, the Humanities Center, thank you, Lori, the School of Law, which just is so unbelievably generous, we love you. Um, the Departments of Sociology, Philosophy and Religion, Political Science, Communication Studies, English, and History. I also want to give a big shout out to all those who helped organize this. Most especially, Kiki Samko. Kiki! <laughs> Who is the 
Program Coordinator Extraordinaire of Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. I'd also like to thank our wonderful co-op student, Amy Stahl, and all of the members, when you're out here today, of the research cluster who worked so hard to put this together. Uh, you all have your programs, uh, so I won't review them, and I'll just say a few remarks that we're going to have a Q&A after each panel, and then the final session of the day is going to bring all of us back together to have a more engaged discussion, uh, free for all, um, uh, you know, I don't know, it might look like a cage match, I'm not quite sure, um, but we will have an open discussion uh, at the end of the day, and of course, um, like all good feminists, or, or really just like me, we will end the day with a cocktail party um, in the rooms adjacent uh, to this room. A few other housekeeping items. I'm going to ask you, I know contrary um, to uh, trends of these days, to please refrain from texting. Think of this as a movie theater when they say those things. Don't do it. It's annoying. From texting, checking email, Facebook, etc., while folks are speaking. Um, if you do, in fact, need to do a text that is um, commenting on the brain surgery you're about to perform, I understand that, uh, and then you can go outside the room and, 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 and um, do your brain surgery. Uh, but otherwise, please, in all seriousness, we do have breaks, we have lunch. Um, I'd like us to really be here with each other and really focus in on each other and be attentive to each other. Um, it, it's, uh, it's kind of a nice thing to do, kind of a feminist thing to do, I think. Now, as many of you know, we planned this symposium as we were bringing the journal signs here to Northeastern, and we were envisioning our first special issue, which many of you know about, and there are calls for papers out on the uh, registration table. We still have some time, so if people are interested in uh, submitting something for the special issue, please do not hesitate. Uh, a special issue on pleasure and danger. Meant not as a simple revisiting of that iconic text, but rather as a call to rethink that paradoxical coupling that is pleasure and danger in and through the exigencies of the present. We invited an eclectic and provocative group of scholars and activists joined by a wonderful group of student activists here at Northeastern to join us in this dialogue. If the pleasure-danger couplet grew out of and marked that moment in the 80s, we often refer to by the shorthand, the sex debates. How does it play out in our era? Is it still a relevant way to frame these continuing discussions of sexual freedom and freedom from sexual harm? For surely, these remain key demands of feminism, demands too often seen and posed at, at, as at odds with each other. The centrality of sexual pleasure and sexual freedom to our collective sense of well-being, and the equal but not identical centrality of a life not structured, curtailed, freighted in by sexual violence and danger. It is to this enduring issue that we turn our minds today. And I welcome you all here. I'm thrilled to see uh, such a great turnout. And now we're going to get rocking. So I'm going to turn this over to my colleague, Denise Horn, who's going to moderate the first panel. And the first panelist, come on up. Thank you.